Ben, what did you say? I hope you did not shout to me one Mulambez. Because <laughs> if you did, cool and block. All right, so Ben at 14 May 125, he says uh, on a tweet, I am an artist and Ezekiel Mutua blocked me. Would he be kind enough to unblock, uh, unblock me so that we can interact? Ben, what did you t say? I hope you did not shout to me one Mulambez. Because <laughs> if you did, cool and block. But uh, ideally, I'll check. I'll check. Honestly, Ben, uh, uh, there must be a reason. I am very patient. I really tolerate a lot. Uh, I hope you did not get vulgar or obscene. I do not tolerate people insult my family. If you br bring my family or bring things uh, about leadership, national leadership or something, I'll check. Sorry, uh, now that you have requested, whatever the reason, you will be unblocked. I'll work on it. Uh, Willie Mututa at Willie Mututa. I totally agree with the Ezekiel Mutua. Traveled from Addis to Nairobi last week. At uh, um, on a, on the flight, I heard one person shout Wamlambez, and his friend in a different row shouted uh, Wamnyonyes. I felt disturbed. It's really shameful. Well, shameful it is. There's nothing funny. Maybe the hype. It's creative, yeah. I don't know, but this is sexualized content. This is pornography. If you know what this is all about, it's a derivative of a sexual pornographic uh, content graphic. Uh, you don't want to engage in this. And how I wish this creativity was turned into something positive. So I agree with you, Willie. I think we need content with substance. Clean is cool. Clean sells. You're what you consume. You can't consume. Can't shout this to your mother, can you? I mean, uh, honestly, you want content that the president can be comfortable with the preacher in the in the in the, in the, in the pulpit on the pulpit the, the the kid in the school the man in the street wamla bears for a certain category for a certain time we didn't ban we restricted it to clubs and bars where there are no children karma at fred underscore daktari ezekiel mtua najua unapenda that song wamla bears ni vile tu igo yako inakusho ucheze kama wewe uh, kind of crap sometimes I like I would I prefer to avoid uh, I mean what are you saying how would you know you know this kind of people waste time on Twitter so uh, come on grow up grow up Janet at Janet Mumbua so why did you completely ban Rafiki if adults have a right to enjoy any content yes if it is not against the laws of the land you can't do content that glorifies homosexuality or terrorism or drugs it's against the law we banned it because it's against the laws of the country if it was just content about creativity or adult content we would ban it or restrict it for adults only this one was violating the laws of the land so janet it's not personal this is the law like i told you botswana the other day legalized homosexuality our judiciary it said it's illegal in kenya that's the law so there will be no films promoting uh, homosexuality in this country under my watch. Dear Moro Policeman, who is this one? I can't get the name, uh, but somebody said, We thought the ban on Takataka did cut across, but Pastor Nganga is on record referring to his flocks as, as, as stupid, arrogant, useless people, Takataka labish. Your sil silence is uh, wanting and force the ban. <laughs> this was not a film. Uh, this is freedom of speech. Uh, he was speaking to adults, they should have walked out if they thought they were, it was offensive. I, I, I think we need to draw a line between jokes and the serious business done by government. The government does not go to church to regulate what preachers say, unless it is hate speech, which will be picked by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. Our role is to regulate uh, what people consume in terms of video and stage plays. Bishop of Op at Ndege Serikal. By banning the Takataka song, Ezekiel Mutua has made it legendary and its singer Alvino more popular. Are you even serious? Who talks about it anymore? We have just heard it here. Who talks about it anymore? That's a, that's a lie people sell uh, to remain relevant. It's not. Takataka is forgotten completely. Nobody is talking about it. You must be living in a pipe dream or in a, in a force. Uh, in, a, in your own world to, to say that Takataka is popular anymore. It's not. So, Ndege Serikal, please check your fact. We banned it. We have no apologies. We called uh, Alvino 
for our offices. We are helping him to repackage himself to create content that has uh, substance. And I think it's not personal. Like I said, we are not at war with artists. We just want them to create good content, content that has values, that promotes our culture, that protects children. Watchdog at Bank, Bank B254, Dr. Ezekiel Motua. I watched Narcos and I didn't become violent or a drug addict. I watched Rambo and I'm very cool. I watched Deception and I've not, um, I haven't become a magician. Watch Big Bang and I'm not funny. Rafiki won't change a thing. Well, that's your choice. Um, don't do content that's against the law. Homosexuality is illegal in Kenya. That remains. If things change, we will comply. We don't make laws. Laws are made by parliament. You are the one who elects those people. Go and talk to them and tell them that you want to watch homosexual content. They will allow you. But this narrative is also wrong. Uh, we are not here to regulate what adults watch. We are here to regulate, to protect children from exposure to harmful content. Adults just need advisory to know this is rated this way. So if you want to watch homosexual content, you can actually watch it. It is somewhere available. There are jurisdictions that allow that. So go ahead and do it. The Baron, Baron Green underscore back, Ezekiel Mutua would have banned KICC. Well, have your fun. I think, uh, like I said, there are many jokers on social media, so some of them just skip. But why would I? Because of the donkey thing? It was designed by Akamba Elder. I respect him. That was creativity. In fact, you are lacking creativity yourself. If you think I would have banned that one. KICC, their design is epic. We are not about to burn it. The analogy was crazy, but it is creativity. That was the best architectural design that we have had in a long time. Manze sika sailors tunataka kuuliza hivi man. Jo italent yetu ndo tunajua. Mimi sizi enda nikalime, si ndio ma bro. Hatuwezi enda tukalime manze. Na hatuwezi anza kwanza atikusanya huku mitaani manze ju. Tupigo maridhe bana. Tuna try ku come up na ki, kitu yenye inaweza fanya hadi gavai saidike. Juu kasa hiyo unasema gavana sema nga hakuna ma jobs kwa ma youth ndio mm. ah vijanani was, ni watano hapa hivi tume tume create through talent job unaona hapo tume said ya gava part hey, ngoma ibani mbona na iko mm. code na ngoma za majuu anga zibani manze ngoma za majuu ya ndio tunajulikana kila msimu na try sana tutoke ghetto jua lapu tunataka kujua i exist to regulate content they created the content I cannot control their minds. They chose to do content with uh, sexual innuendo. So we rate it for adults. We did not ban it. So it can play in clubs. Let them play at night. Beer is not illegal, but you can't serve beer in a school compound. So we are only saying Wamlambez is a derivative of a sexual slang. It's not uh, suitable for children. We don't want children to be shouting to their mothers Wamlambez. It's bad manners. So if they chose that, they should have known their laws governing this cre this industry. So if you want to do that take content or adult, uh, content for adults, then you know it will be rated as such. That, I mean, there are rules. If you want to drive a, a lorry, there will be rules governing. You want to open a kiosk somewhere and do, uh, you know, by the roadside to do carpentry, you know that will be NEMA. Ne when NEMA comes and says you can't make noise here unless you have a li your license, it does not mean they're against you. So, first of all, we are not against them. All we are saying is they chose to do content with sexual innuendo. That sexual innuendo is for adults. And so, as adults, I have no problem listening to them myself. But I have a problem with my 12-year-old shouting wamlambez in my house and all we are saying is let it play in clubs and bars in any case i'm told after we banned it, it became popular why are they complaining they should be thanking me if that is true so i ideally we are not against them and it is not just that content you know but it doesn't have wamlambez or that content is very popular the Masi masika the lights of gloria muliro you don't want to tell me that you can only make money as a youth in this country if you sing dirty sexual content it's not true that is bad manners when you come to this industry you must know the rules governing this industry and when you do adult content we rate it for adults just the same way if you are manufacturing and you want to say i want to sell soda you will not sell soda in a kiosk outside a school compound i mean i, I mean, you not sell beer but you'll be allowed to sell soda because soda is for children if you want to sell beer, you'll sell it in a club and there is a, even a distance how far a club or a bar should be from a school compound. Those are called rules. 
they are not personal and let me tell you they don't have to create this kind of content alone they are so creative i love their creativity but i hate the push to sexualize content to make it dirty and obscene and make it like that is what is cool it's not if they shouted to you wamlambes would you respond uh, you know there's nothing illegal about wamlambes by the way are you aware about that <laughs> i i mean I, you, you, i think we are getting a lot of context wamlambes in itself is not an illegality to shout that obviously you want to be a decent society you're not going to shout that in church or to shout that before people you respect if they want to shout it uh, personally i abhor the narrative they have created to get fame fa- uh, to get famous by using us we are only doing a job in line with the law they have twisted it to look like we are against them and they think that popularity will take them anywhere south so is not is not south soul because of dirty content let these young guys know that when mlambez is dirty Yes, they have a right to that creativity. We have restricted it to bars and clubs and we don't want to arrest them. If NDJ is found playing Wamlambes in a place where there are children, I can tell you the DCA is on the watch. We'll arrest them and they will not become famous by fighting government or by breaking the law. Who does that? Artists are supposed to be disciplined. In other countries, artists are the moral uh, champions of their societies. So why can't they turn this wonderful creativity? How I wish we were able to shout all of us. Do you want to tell me that the president can can go in a podium and shout to Amblambes? <laughs> or a preacher in church? Can you shout it to your mom? If you can't do it, just then understand it is sexual, it is pornographic, and restricted for people who can consume that or in situations where our children are not exposed to it. That's all we are saying. Thank you. It was good interacting with you.